It's time for Bully to end. Let's do this. I can sleep with my eyes open. What is that? Troublemakers will be found and punished. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you, but everybody laughs at me. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are jerks anyway, but I tried. I know! I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke. It was Gary. It must have been. I know! I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me. Well, it ain't over yet. God, one minor setback, and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How was that a minor setback? Losers! Oh, shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your has-been friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is townie kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've gotta find out what's going on. Come on! Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell. He'll be at his house at Old Bullworth Vale. Oh, yeah. We're gonna get Russell on our side. Let's do this. I think I went the wrong way. Here we go. This is Russell's house. Hey, Russell! I need your help to bust into the dropout's hideout. <laughs> okay, he wants me to get on the scooter. Okay, fair enough. All right. <laughs> He's on a friggin' police motorcycle. That's awesome. Oh, Russell, you are the best, buddy. <laughs> yes, Russell, you get to destroy, bud. Looks like Russell was like just waiting to do this. <laughs> Which is just awesome. It's like he knew. He knew we were coming. Bussy in part two. Oh, that's gotta hurt. 
Uh oh, this doesn't look so good. <laughs> Russell, you're amazing. What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you mean? Smashing into our barricade like that? Completely out of control. Are you crazy? I've got to talk to that Edward kid. I don't think he wants to talk to you. And you can't get in while the power is out anyways. Our plant generators are overloaded. Okay. Okay, so we're we've busted into the townies uh, stronghold. Um, now there is a collectible that's in this area that I couldn't get before, um, and it's the last Grottos and Gremlins card. Let me see if I can go get it now. And these guys are gonna attack me. Viking helmet, yes. Oh crap! Alright. So, anyway, we got the last Grottos and Gremlins card. And. What the hell did I get out of here? How did I get in here? Oh, I see. Okay. Townies are definitely tough fighters, but nothing I can't handle. Locked out of this area. Now I gotta figure out where in the heck to go. That's, that's the real trick. Is I don't remember where the hell to go. I think it has something to do with these trees. Uh huh. Okay, what did that do for me? Okay, 
I think that did help me. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna start using my, uh... <laughs> okay, that didn't work out too well. Alright. Alright, whatever. Okay. Get the switch, dumbass. Hey! What's in here? You be nice now. Me a dumbass. What the hell is this switch anyway? Is it down here or? Oh, hey, it's Clint. Hey, buddy. I'm here to beat the hell out of you now. You're really not that tough. Oh, I see. It's up here. But to get to it, yeah. I'm gonna have to go through these guys. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, this is pretty much a gauntlet. them. Alright. Fair enough. I was kind of getting tired of having to fight all of them anyway. <laughs> you know, sometimes the rubber band ball is pretty damn useful. Okay. Now. Search the chemical plant for Edgar. This place is interesting, to say the least. Now, it's a boss fight, obviously. <clears throat> over here, Jimmy. But the trick is actually just to get down to Edgar. That's the real trick. And he's not the easiest to get to. He is, by far, the hardest boss fight in the game. Unless 
you do a certain trick. There is a trick to it. If you do the trick, he's actually really easy. I'm going to show off the trick, because I don't like doing him the legitimate way. The legitimate way, he's really tough, but if you do him the cheap and easy way, he's <laughs> ridiculously easy. Yeah. The legitimate way involves you, like, ripping panels off of... Like, metal panels off of uh, machinery and using them as shields and stuff. Well, he wails on you with a pipe and all sorts of stuff, but that's really hard. I prefer not to do it that way. And chances are you're probably going to get your butt kicked that way. No. Whoa! Let's, let's not die. See what I meant? Uh, the problem is, is they keep changing the camera in this area, too. It's like, oh! You're trying to maintain your balance? Here, let's change the camera on you. No. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Oh, and there's a weapon we're gonna need. Not that, not that, but this. And you might be thinking, oh, you're gonna use the the spud gun against him? Oh, that's cheap. Well, I'm not gonna use it to shoot at him. No. Yep, pretty much. Okay, now see, he's beating the crap out of me. But, just get out the spud gun and just wail on him. And it doesn't look like it's working. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, I was trying to look around for a soda. You know, usually this works. This is gonna be fun. There we go. I beat him. See how easy that was? Once I got to that point, of you course. You had enough? You want some more? Come on, big guy. You still think messing with me is a good idea? No, no, no. Good. That's what I thought. Now, what made you think it was a good idea in the first place? Oh man. I hate that school. My parents couldn't afford to send me there, and now I'm stuck in this dump of a town. Gary said we make them all pay. Wait a second. Gary? That backstabbing two-faced sociopath put you up to this? Ah, I bet he said the two of you would take over the school or some crap. Hey, how'd you know? Because he told me the same garbage. Didn't do me any good either. Come on, you're gonna help me make him pay for his lies. You know, you're all right, Jimmy. Yeah, okay. See ya. Okay. Now the townies are on our, are on our side. Another job well done. <sighs> Good. And I'm hurt. I'm really, really hurt. <laughs> that really did a number on old Jimmy. And that's the last mission in the game. Oh. Looks like we have a Those mission. Those greasers are a bunch of stuck-up idiots. Go egg some of them for me, okay? Yeah, okay. Thanks. Well, I can try, but they're probably gonna kill me. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm at really low health, dude. <laughs> there are no words. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Well, 
the tractor trailer I think hit me or was it the tractor trailer or I don't know I don't know who it was that hit me <laughs> that was freaking hilarious <laughs> oh god oh my god I don't know if I've ever laughed at that hard in recent times in recent memory that was that was really really good before I do this mission, I really want to go back to school. I want to change my clothes. And I want to kiss a girl. Because I want to be prepared, because this next mission is the final mission in the game. Ugh, fine, Angie, just come here. Just come here. You know, you've impressed me, girl. Hey, Jimmy. I think I'm in love. Um... Ah, it makes sense it'd be you, of all girls. <laughs> Do you think anyone saw? Yeah, that little kid there was watching us the whole time like a creep. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, um... Change my clothes. Wonder now, Dr. Cravelston said that we couldn't wear the school outfit. The hell with him. I think it's only fitting that we wear the school uniform anyway. I am going to wear the school uniform. Whether he likes it or not. Oh, and you know that motor cars uh, thing here? That looks like Mandy. I think that is Mandy. I'm pretty sure that is. Mandy's the model on that one, and then that one, that's gotta be Zoe. So, yeah, they're the models for these, uh, these posters. Never noticed that before, but that's, that's cool. Okay, and I'm gonna save my game. Cart, and I'm gonna go head to Zoe's house for the final mission of, of the game. I know. Thank you for your help, Russell. By the way, we haven't seen the last of Russell. <laughs> He'll play a huge role in the final mission. Aaron. Wasn't paying attention. Whatever. Who cares? <clears throat> I've done so many of them, I think I've probably filled the quota anyway. I think this might be the one that I missed. Those greasers are a bunch of no stuck up idiots. Go egg some of them for me, okay? Alright. So now the greasers are stuck up idiots. <laughs> Alright. Sounds good to me. I have no problem antagonizing the greasers. Oops. Oh god! No! <laughs> I hit one of the adults! What is with this stupid errand? I keep screwing up on it. Oh no. Why? <laughs> what is with it? Oh, this is awful. It's just like this one errand I keep messing up. Either I, I get... Somebody kills me, or I get busted. Well, I've got a safe house here, so... Maybe I can go collect my crap. Yeah. 
go get my junk from here. <sighs> Alright. And I'll go see if that guy is still giving that errand, and if not, I'm just I'm just not gonna worry about it. <laughs> get out of my way, okay? Listen, I was driving here. All right, I'll try. <laughs> I'm gonna try your errand again. What's going on? Hey there. Do you want me to make out with you instead? I know, they're a bunch of stuck up idiots. Whatever. This is becoming like a ridiculous comedy or something. Okay. Could, could you guys get out of the way? Oh god, just go away. Going in the Alright, bye. Can't catch me. <laughs> Alright, so anyway. I'm out of here. Um is Zoe in the area? I wanna see if Zoe's in the area. Because I need to make out. I need to make out with a girl. Where's where's Zoe? Guys, have you seen have you seen Zoe? I wasn't trying to run you over, I just wanted to see if Zoe was in the area. You make out! I wanna make out with a girl! Where's Zoe? <laughs> uh, you guys aren't helping. Fine. Fine. You're, you're really disappointing, okay? You're very disappointing to me. Fine. Lola is fine. Hi, why are you running? I think you should kiss me. We are alone. We're totally alone. There's nobody in... Yeah, there's nobody in this street. There's nobody honking at us. It was. It was so wonderful. <laughs> I need to go. Hi! <laughs> Goodbye, Lola. Don't write. All right, it's time at last to get this nightmare <laughs> done. What the hell are you doing here? Looking for you, Zoe. I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard what, my love? The school has broken out into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah. Oh man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat Slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. Look, I'll see you later. Well, what about love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls. Aww. Zoe's in love. Isn't that cute? All right, so we need to go rescue Russell first. Okay, I had to figure out which way I was going. All right. Don't worry about it, coppers. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Where are you going? You know what? You run that way, and I'm gonna get on my go-kart. This is the best place for me, after all. Actually, yeah. In order for this to go right, I need to be off my go-kart. Jimmy. Come on, 
We gotta get to the school. All hell's breaking loose. Hey, Jim, this is your turf. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, it's your old friend Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> all right, one question. How are we gonna stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America. We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. If all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people for peace. <laughs> cool. Then it's a plan. <laughs> That's awesome. Damn, they're locked. Don't worry, Russell will get it. <laughs> we'll take out the gang leaders. Without them, Gary's got nothing. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm getting my go kart. Oh. Come on, Russell. Alright, let's see. There looks like. Our first stop is going to be the girls' dorm. Let's head in there. I guess I need to wait for uh, Russell to catch up. Maybe the go-kart's not a good idea. Alright, buddy. This is awesome. Ah, that's the greasers. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, Johnny? Why are you taking orders from Gary? Shut up, Jimmy! You left us and everything went down the toilet! I beat you once, I'll beat you again! I guess these guys aren't tired of getting their asses handed to them. Alright, Johnny's down. We broke your ovaries? <laughs> Is there something you want to tell us there, buddy? Okay. Okay, that's the greasers down. Come on, Russell. Let's go. Yep. All hell has broken loose. Obviously. When I catch you, you're dead! All right, library next. <laughs> Jocks are burning Ted, down the library. I need you to help me. Get lost, Jimmy. You ain't nothing. You're just asking for me. All right, Ted's down. Damon's always been tougher than Ted, anyway. Ted's always been all talk and... Yeah, Damon's always been the biggest pain in the ass of the jocks. There we go. Okay. Oh man, they are just wrecking the school. Oh Gary, you psycho. You know, I mean, it's one thing to stick it to, like, jerk-offs and, you know, dickheads who, who deserve it, but I mean, it's another thing entirely to just cause chaos like this. I mean, it's almost like Gary's the Joker or something, you know? This is like, this is like the Dark Knight. This is what this reminds me of. This is exactly what the Joker ended up doing. Except he did it to all of Gotham. Don't worry, boys. I'll deal with him. You get really tired, Stormy. Cut it out. Crush! Oh, yeah. 
Darby picked up some uh, boxing moves in this part, so he's actually probably the toughest of all of the uh, probably the toughest of all of the uh, faction leaders to take down. He's, he's basically on par with Biff. No. He's still not hard, though. Yeah, he's down. Hey, watch it, buddy. <laughs> okay. And the last faction leader. Well, that would be the nerd, so looks like we're going to have to take down Ernest. Let me guess. He's going to be in the gym. Probably burning the thing down. <laughs> it makes sense that the preppies are just, like, chilling in their own place. They're like, eh, who cares? <laughs> they get me bothered. Yep. Ernest, you nerd! What were you thinking?! Yeah, if you want to kill him, go right ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Meet Edgar inside the school. Alright, buddy. Let's do this. Russell's lagging behind, but that's okay. He's probably just busy beating somebody up. Long time coming, Gary. Gary! Moron! Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I've won your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! You're like a puppet! Only dumber! Whatever! Let's finish this! Catch me, Hopkins. You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive. Poor little Jimmy. All alone in a oh, big, scary shit. door. Under fire from Russell and his goons, desperate for help. So sad, so hopeless. Just needing a friend, any friend. You were so easy to manipulate, Jimmy. Ah. And once we were friends, it was all so clear. You had to for power and without telling us to back it up. Using you as a pawn was so wonderfully 
obvious. Let Jimmy have his fun. Let him play his childish little games with Ernest, Ted, Darby, Johnny, and Edgar, and just wait for the right moment to swoop in and take it all. Just another punk! You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great! But I never did anything to you! You would have if I'd given you the chance! Face it! I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> You're smarter than me! You hate everyone, and everyone hates you! Genius! The head likes me! I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled, unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> oh! I can take you, Hopkins! <clears throat> Boy, this feels good to finally be able to beat the crap out of Gary. Timey boy. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. <clears throat> what a hero. A lone wolf. Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired. I hope he rots in hell. And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, well, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? <laughs> we win. Finally, everything is sorted out, more or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier. And he gets the girl. Yep, she's a student at Bullworth again. Well, that's it, guys. That's Bully. Hope you enjoyed it. It's been quite a ride. This is uh, definitely one of my uh, favorite Rockstar games. I'd say this and uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas are probably my two favorite uh, games by Rockstar. Definitely made the biggest impressions on me. Definitely the ones that I played the most. This game is 
also probably the easiest of the uh, the Rockstar games. This game is not hard at all. Um, it's really not difficult to 100% it. It's definitely on a on a level much easier than any of the rocks or the, any of the Grand Theft Auto games. Trying to 100% uh, like San Andreas, for example, is really really difficult. This not too hard at all, but a lot of fun though. Anyway, overall, um, I really like Jimmy Hopkins. I think he's a great character. Because he just seems like a real character, you know? He's more or less a down-to-earth kid. He's, you know, as he's, as Cravel uh, said, he's rough around the edges, but... You know, he's basically kind of the straight man in a school full of, you know, exaggerated characters. That's the way I kind of see it. Everybody's kind of like an extreme sort of. I don't know. Extreme representation of very poor personality types. But, uh, Jimmy's just, you know, just a normal kid, pretty much. You know, it's kind of odd that he's the straight man, but yeah, he is. And, um,. Anyway, yeah, I like him. I like Jimmy Hopkins. I would say that uh, he's one of the better written Rockstar protagonists. Him and uh, Carl Johnson, or, you know, CJ from uh, San Andreas, is also very good. Um, girlfriends. Um, I definitely would say that Zoe is my favorite of all of them, and she's the best choice for Jimmy, so to have her set as like the true love, you know, the final girl, or whatever, yeah, definitely, she was, you know, the best choice for that, um, I just, like I had said, you know, in the previous video, I just uh, think that they should have introduced her character maybe a little bit earlier on, and kind of built her up more. You know, so that when you finally did get her, there was a much bigger sense of payoff for it, you know? Sort of like, you know, like when you finally attained that goal, it's like, oh yeah, great, you, know, you finally got, got something. Whatever. <clears throat> anyway, um, for Gary to finally get his comeuppance, that was really cool. Um, I think he was a very effective villain, but I think that it probably would have been better had we seen a little bit more of him interspersed throughout the various chapters. I mean, he, uh, he made his appearances, but working he almost worked a little too behind the scenes, you know? It's like, you didn't see very much of him like in chapters 2, 3, and 4. And his presence, you know, for him to be, like, you know, the final villain and stuff, it's like, yeah, I mean, obviously they established him as, like, the primary antagonist in chapter 1, but then you barely saw him for most of the rest of the game, and then, I don't know. I felt like that was something that they could have improved on. But, you know, that having been said, it was still, he was a, he was still written well, and he was definitely portrayed well. I mean, the guy who did him, he did both the, the voice and motion capture, and apparently even looks like him, too. I mean, <clears throat> he did a really good job, because, I mean, he's just, <laughs> Gary is just so hateable. I mean, really, really hateable, so, yeah. I think his name is Peter Vack. Uh, he did a really good job uh, on Gary. He was he was just ugh, just want to punch the guy. But anyway, um, yeah. 
I was overall satisfied with the ending. I thought it was a good ending. Um, oh, and uh, there is a chapter six of sorts after the credits roll. Um, it's not really... There's no story to it, though. It's just... It's called Endless Summer. You just get to wander around and do whatever. You'll see. Here it is. This is for finishing up whatever you missed. Complete all the tasks you may have missed. Okay. So, one of the tasks that I did not finish up, which I couldn't have, was I got a job to do. Uh, the yearbook. So, let's see. Um, you notice that we have Gary's picture now, and that's because we defeated him in the final boss fight. So, our our gearbook is complete except for Zoe's picture. So what I'm gonna do... Oh, there she is. But, um... I'm actually gonna go save my game, just in case... Just in case. <laughs> because you know how this game is. It loves to crash. So, we've got 97.97%. Uh... No. Who cares if I can't get my I really time. don't know. She know what she there she doing. is. That's hey! Hi. Hi. You want to kiss me? Hey, nice Jimmy. Want to hang? So, Jimmy. Nice what day. are you waiting for? Hey. I have to leave now. Okay, yes. And you can make out with mm. Zoe any time you like. She will kiss you. Mm. I like that. Okay. Now we need to get her picture. Okay. And this unlocks the black ninja costume. And we also got paid for it. Um... Now... I'm gonna show something real quick. Uh, bullies, nerds, jocks, preppies, greasers, and townies, we all have 100% completion. Or 100%, uh... With them, and it's saying still that I've got 98.25% complete. I wonder what I'm missing. Huh. That's odd. That's really, really strange. I would have thought that I've got everything done, but apparently I don't. Eh. That really is. Very, very weird. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to have to look around and see if maybe I'm missing races or something. I don't think that I was. But maybe I am. Maybe I'm missing some races of some sort. Hmm. I know I'm not missing any clothes. I'm certainly not missing clothes. I know I did all the... I got all the collectibles, for sure. I got all of the, uh, got all the collectibles, got all the clothes. I could swear that I did all the races. Huh. That is really, really weird. Hmm. You know what? I'm probably just going to have to do it off screen. Anyway, I'll look around and see what I missed. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Um, okay, Jimmy. I'm out of here. All right. Bye-bye, Zoe. And bye-bye, guys. Uh, that's it for Bully. And if I missed any stuff, any last-minute stuff, I'll just show off in a little short video. But anyway, that was it, guys. That was my Bully LP. So I'll see you guys next time on another LP. I'm going to be starting up a, a Long Dark uh, Let's Play very soon, so be sure to tune in for that. And uh, I'm not very familiar with the game. I've only played about four hours of the game, but, uh, you know, I'll take a best, my best stab at it. So. Anyway, see you guys. Peace.